Hey friends, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is Becky and welcome to Kinda Shabby. I enjoy sharing all things DIY and decorating and if you enjoy those things too, then you're in the right place. Now many of you really seem to enjoy the bow tutorial that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago, so I have another one for you here. Now this bow tutorial I call the bow K and when I begin to show the instructions to you, you'll understand why I gave it that name. And this is what our bouquet looks like. Just a beautiful, fluffy bow with pretty tails, just adorable. And this bow that I made, I put on my door hanger. I didn't use wired ribbon for this because it has a flat surface with plenty of support for the ribbons. Now the bow that I'm going to be showing you today, I'm going to be putting that on my little bunny topiary here. And this little stem has no support, so all of the ribbons that I will be using in this demonstration are all wired ribbons, with the exception of my tool. So you're going to need an assortment of ribbons. I'm using three different colors of wired ribbon and one roll of tool. And then you'll also need a pipe cleaner. You could also use some floral wire or you could use a zip tie as well. And then of course you're gonna need some scissors to be able to cut your ribbons to size and something to measure those ribbons with. So let me adjust the camera angle and bring you in closer so you can see how we're going to make our beautiful bouquet. So the ribbons that I'm using, how adorable is that? Green and white gingham. Then this is a gorgeous tone on tone white stripe. A cutie cutie little Easter themed with some bunnies and some eggs in there. That's adorable. And then I also, of course, I have my pink tool, but I did go ahead and pull a bunch of it off of the roll. It's just easier to work with that way. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm cutting four pieces out of each that will be 18 inches long. So I'm gonna measure off my 18 inches and just cut and place those off to the side. And it's okay if you're measuring it out, if it goes a little past the 18, it's no big deal. It doesn't have to be precise, but you want it to be at least 18 and no less than that. So now I have my four pieces of tulle. Now I'll do my four pieces of the green, 18 inches each. I don't use my good scissors when I'm cutting ribbon because I don't want my fabric scissors to be cutting through the wire of these wired ribbons. It may not damage the blades, but I don't want to take that chance. So I just use some cheapy scissors that I have to cut through this wired ribbon. So now that we have all of our pieces cut, now we're going to take our ribbons and fold them in half. Because this is wired ribbon, we will be able to fluff these out later. So it's not going to make a difference if you have a little crease there in your wired ribbon. And I do apologize <laughs> if you can 
hear my dog? She's laying in the floor right over here. You can't see her, but she's just having herself a good old puppy time rubbing her nose on the drop cloth that I have in the floor. I don't know. Dogs, go figure. The tool is going to be a little harder to hold its shape. But I am going to fold it in half as well. And there she goes, sauntering off. She's a good girl, though. Biscuit is our 14-year-old Jack Russell Terrier who loves ice cream. Now that we have prepped all of our pieces, the next thing that we're going to do is take our piece and at the four inch mark, we're going to pinch it and put it in between your thumb and forefinger. And then we're gonna pick up a next one, pick it up, pinch it, thumb and forefinger. So what you're doing is basically, if you were out in the field and you were picking flowers, you would just start picking flowers and putting them into a cute little bouquet. And that's what we're doing here with our ribbons. We're just going to form a little bouquet. And I will probably cut more of the tool later. I don't know. I'll see. So I can see over in here I've got this working already. So I'm just going to pick up until I have all of these picked up pinched and placed in. And it is just as easy as that. This is honestly the cutest, simplest little bow that you'll ever make. And you just keep adding your little ribbons in there. And don't worry if you feel like you have too much of one color in one area. It's okay because once you get your pipe cleaner on there, you're going to be able to flip those things around and move those things around and you'll be able to fluff them out and it'll be just gorgeous. And this is just so easy to do. And that is all there is to it. This is what we have so far, and when we get to fluffing, it's gonna be even more adorable. I think I wanna cut maybe about four more of these because it is very, very light colored, and it just adds just a cute little subtle touch of texture to your bow. going to add those around the perimeter of our bow. we're going to take our pipe cleaner and place it right up underneath where we have made all of these loops. We're going to just put our pipe cleaner all around where we have made all of those loops. And then we're going to pull tightly and twist. Now it's easier once you've twisted your pipe cleaner to actually twist your ribbons. And then that's gonna leave you 
some nice tails here for you to be able to wire it onto a wreath, put it on a the top of a tiered tray, put it on a candlestick, any of those things. So now that we have all of that, now we get to just take and fluff out all of our pieces of our ribbon. And when I stage this, you'll actually be able to see it a little better because the lighting in my craft room just isn't the greatest. And when I turn on my work lights for the space when I start to work, it's too bright for the camera. But when I take some photos of this for you, you'll be able to see it and it's just so, look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. Then you want to take the opposite side where all of your tails are and you're going to open those and fluff all of those out as well. Just laying them over one to one side and one to the other side until you have all of your tails all spread out as well. So then, oops, I need to turn that. Nope, that is right. Okay. So then you have it all spread out. So it looks like a nice big little fluffy pom-pom is what it ends up looking like. So I'm gonna put this on my topiary and get some pictures so you can actually see it better. But isn't that so quick, so easy, and so shabby chic pretty? I hope you found my bouquet technique to be a method you can use to quickly and easily whip up beautiful bows. I'll post a link to my previous bow tutorial in the description box below. You may also enjoy my spring and Easter playlist too. Thank you so much for spending a bit of your time here with me today. I truly appreciate it. Please remember to like this video and to subscribe to become part of our growing shabby family. Come back next week for more crafty inspiration. And until then, be blessed.